Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to play another game from. I have to think of what it is. <laughs> PC Replay Baseball 2016 season using PC Replay Baseball. Um, game. It's going to be game number 15 of the Washington Nationals 2016 season replay. As you can see, the Nationals are currently at seven and seven, one uh, half game behind the Miami Marlins, and they'll be playing Miami today. So if they can win, they can vault into first place. Uh, they've won two in a row uh, against the Marlins. It's two and three in the series. And if they win today, they'll also win the series uh, between them and the Marlins. Uh, Max Serger goes to the mound. He's had a little bit of a rough start, though he does have a 2 and one record, a 7.13 ERA. He'll be going against Tom Kohler, who has a record of 2-0 and and a 3.27 ERA. So the Nationals are 5-5 five and five in the last 10. They have a two-game winning streak. Um, they'll be playing on the road, and on the road record is 3-5. and five. So without further ado, let's get this game underway. And we will be doing the game simulcast. In Miami. There we go. We've already played the Boston game. Boston won by a big margin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we'd like you to rise and please sing as John Kiley plays our national anthem. <laughs> So, all right. So, thank you for joining me. So, Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. Today, sit, filling in for Mr. Brody, I have my uh, Siamese cat, Miss Mags. So, Miss Mags will be doing the play-by-play. -play. Mr. Brody has the afternoon off. So, let's get the game underway. Replay Radio is on the air. Top of the first. So, all right. So... We're live from Miami, and Matt uh, Tom Kohler takes the mound for the Miami Marlins. He's got a record of 2-0, and 11 innings pitched, 10 hits allowed, 4 runs, 4 walks, and 9 strikeouts. The area of 3.27 and a whip of 1.27. So he'll be facing a Marlins lineup, I mean a Nationals lineup, which is as follows. Matt, Matt, Matt Van Decker gets the start. You play left field, playing in place of Jason Worth. Anthony Rendon is the third baseman, bat second. Bryce Harper is having a monster year in 2017, will bat third and play right field. Batting cleanup will be the second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Behind the plate, batting fifth will be Wilson Ramos. Clint Robertson gets a start in place of Ryan Zimmerman at first base, bat sixth. Michael Taylor, the center fielder, bats seventh. Danny Espinosa, the shortstop, will bat eighth. And on the mound, batting ninth, will be Max Scherzer. So Matt Van Decker has only had four at bats and is one for four in the season with a couple of walks. And he'll lead it off for the uh, Nationals. So, so he strikes out, and that's how we'll, we'll begin the game. One out, base is empty. All right, next up will be Anthony Rendon. He's hitting 192 with four home runs and seven runs batted in, four walks and 12 strikeouts. And he'll draw a one-out walk. 
One out, man on first. Next up will be Bryce Harper. He's hitting just 143. Been a real struggle so far for him this season. Just seven hits and 49 at bats. Two homers and four runs batted in. Runner on first and one out. Here's your out of town scoreboard, which we'll get to about the third inning. We'll go over that. Possible rare play. It's going to be a rare play. So it's going to be a double to right field. Harper drives a double into the outfield gap. Rendon is waved around third. And we'll see if he can score. Throw is cut off for play at third, allowing the run to score. So Bryce Harper will have an RBI double, and the Nationals are on the board first. So, all right, Daniel Murphy up now. He's hitting 264 with a homer and six runs batted in. And he's going to homer. Two run home run will drive in Harper. And the Nationals are on a 3 0 lead. So, a great start for the Washington Nationals. Again, like we said before, if they win today, they'll vault in the first place ahead of the Marlins. One out, base is empty. Been a little while since we played this game, but it's easy to get back into. So next up will be Wilson Ramos, the catcher. He's out to a great start, hitting 326 with five homers and 15 runs batted in. I believe he is on the. I know he's on an American League team now. I want to say the Toronto, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, but I'm not sure. Um, I know. I know he's in the American League now. And Matt Wieters is actually the catcher of the, one of the catchers of the Nationals. So the Nationals are actually doing quite well this season, first place again. See if they can go a little further uh, this year. Zimmerman is actually having a great year at first base, as well as Harper. So they definitely got the tools to do it. Max Scherzer is having a great year. Steven Strasburg. So Nationals uh, may finally do something this year. We'll see. So, all right, so Wilson Ramos. The base is empty now. Three runs home for the Nats. Nats can ball hit the short. Catch Averas over with it, over to first. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Two outs, base is empty. So, all right, so next up will be Clint Robertson. Hitting 231. Still looking for his first RBI. He'll ground out to Hechevere or over to Bauer, and that'll do it. Three runs, two hits, and none left on. Bottom of the first. All right, so we head to the bottom of the first. It's the Washington three, and Miami coming up. So the Miami lineup is as follows. Ichiro, the veteran Ichiro Suzuki, will bat first and play right field. Martin Prado, Martin Prado, the third baseman, will bat second. Chris, Christian Yelich. The up-and-coming youngster will play left field and bat third. Marcelo Suna will bat cleanup and bat fourth. All right, looks like um, Giancarlo Stanton has the day off today. He normally is in that cleanup spot there. Batting fifth will be the first baseman Justin Bauer. Batting sixth will be Derek Dietrich, the second baseman. Danny Echeverria will be the shortstop bat seventh. Jeff Mathis is the catcher today, playing for real place of Real Moto, gets the day off. He'll bat eighth. And on the mound, batting ninth will be Tom Kohler. So Ichiro Suzuki leads it off against Max Serger. Max Serger has had a rough start. Does have a record of two and one, but got a lot of run support. 17 and two thirds innings pitch, 24 hits allowed. Four homers, 14 runs allowed. Four homers allowed, 14 runs allowed, five walks, 21 strikeouts. Year of 7.13 and a whip of 1.64. So Ichiro Suzuki comes up first. He's hitting 313 with an RBI. Five hits and 16 at bats. It's going to be a ground ball to Rendon. 
Flips it over to Robinson. One down. One out. Base is empty. Next up will be Martin Prado. Hitting 286 with four RBIs. And he'll get a single to left field. Decker throws it back in. One out. Man on first. So that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Hitting 293 with two homers and six runs batted in. Here's the pitch by Serger. And he'll walk him. So Scherzer continues to struggle. Runners on first and second with one out. One out. Men on first and second. Nats could use a double play in the ball now. Marcelo Suna. Hitting 209 with a homer and 10 runs batted in. And a big strikeout for Scherzer. His first of the day. Two outs. Men on first and second. And we'll bring up Justin Bauer. Hitting 238 with a homer and six runs batted in. And then he'll walk him to load the bases. So Scherzer continues to struggle with the base on balls. Two outs, bases loaded. It's two outs and bases loaded. And ooh, possibility of a wild pitch here. Possible wild pitch. Looks like Scherzer's pretty good though. So he'll catcher will block the pitch. So it didn't get that far away. So great play by uh, by the catcher. Two outs, bases loaded. By Ramos. So the runners cannot advance. And it's gonna be a ground out to Espinosa, throws over to first. No runs, one hit, and three left on. So the Marlins load the bases, but do not score. And after Top one, the, the Nationals lead at three to nothing. It'll be Taylor Espinosa and Scherzer up for the Nats here in the second inning. Taylor is hitting 240 with two homers and five runs batted in. And Kohler gets him. The first out. One out, base is empty. All right, next up, Danny Espinosa hitting 143 with two homers and six runs batted in. Hits it to Dietrich. Throws over to Bauer. Two down. Two out, space is empty. All right, the pitcher Kohler comes up now. Hitless in six at-bats. And it's a ballpark effect, our first one of the day here. So 1-62 to 62 will be, 11-62 to 62 will be an out. Otherwise, 63 and above will be a hit. And it's going to be a hit back dribble in front of the plate. Throws over to first. They go down quietly. Nothing doing this happening. And that's going order. Bottom of the second. It's all right. Echeverry, the shortstop, comes up now for the Marlins. Hitting 317 with five runs batted in. Hits it to Murphy, and see if Murphy can get him in time, and he cannot. So it's a late throw, so they're going to credit that with an infield single for Echeverria. And no outs, man on first. Marlins have the leadoff burner on here in the bottom of the second. Jeff Mathis now the catcher up. He's hitting 200, two hits and 10 at-bats. And he strikes him out. Just missed that pitch. One out, man on first. That would have gone a long way if he would have connected with that one, but he didn't. So next up was Kohler, the pitcher. He'll probably be called upon the bunt here, I'd imagine. So playing halfway. And he strikes him out. So there's your two big outs here. Two outs, man on first. I'll bring up Ichiro Suzuki, the top of the order. He grounded out to third his first time up. And he'll strike him out. So back to back strikeouts, and that'll be it. No runs, one hit, and one left on. So we head to the third, the third. with the Nationals leading two to nothing. Top of the order, Van Decker up now. Struck out his first time up. And he'll strike out again. 
Van Decker not doing so great in his uh, chance to start. So Rendon up now. Walked his first time up. And he'll walk again. One out, man on first. All right, that'll bring up Bryce Harper, who doubled, got an RBI double in the first. And he'll get himself a single, so Bryce Harper's got his second hit of the day. Echeverria moves up to second. Right out, man on first and second. So Danny Murphy up now, he had a two-run home run his first time up. And he'll fly out to center this time. Cena will make the catch. Two outs, men on first and second. And Doan has the hold at second as it wasn't that deep. Wilson Ramos up now. Grounded out to short his first time up. And he'll fly out to center. And that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, and two left on. So we head to the bottom of the third with the Nationals still up three to nothing. Bottom of the third. So Martin Prado will lead it off. Singled his first time up. And deep fly. Harper makes the catch on the warning track. One down. One out. Base is empty. And he strikes out Yelich. Second out. Two outs. Base is empty. Osuna up now, struck out his first time up. Sergio now has five Ks on the day. And ball hit to Robinson. And it's going to be a close play at first. But Robinson gets there in time for the out. And just like that, the inning's over. So one, two, three go the Marlins in the third inning. And it's 3 nothing still. Nationals. Top of the fourth. All right, let's take a look at some of the scores here. Toronto leads Baltimore 2 to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. Cleveland shutting out Seattle 4 to nothing in the top of the third. Oakland shutting out the Yankees in the top of the fourth 5 nothing. Not, well, a bunch of shutouts here. The Dodgers are shutting out the Braves 8 to nothing in the bottom of the third. Here Washington is shutting out Miami 3 nothing. Arizona and San Francisco are scoreless in the bottom of the fourth. The Angels lead the White Sox 4 to 1 in the bottom of the 3rd. Kansas City blanking Detroit 3 to nothing in the bottom of the 3rd. Houston all over Texas 7 to 2 in the bottom of the 3rd. Chicago 3, Cincinnati nothing in the bottom of the 4th. San Diego 3, Pittsburgh nothing in the top of the 4th. And Minnesota leads Milwaukee 3 to 1 in the bottom of the 3rd. So that's your out of town scoreboard. Back to the action. So leading it off for the Marlins here in the top of the fourth will be, who is that? No, uh, no sorry, leading it off for the uh, Nationals here in the top of the fourth will be Clint Robinson. Grounded up to short his first time up. And he strikes out. One out, base is empty. Next up, Michael Taylor. Struck out his first time up. Pops up the second. So two down. Two out, space is empty. So Kohler seems to have settled down since the first when he gave up three runs. Espinosa up now, grounded out to second his first time up. And he'll draw a two out walk. Two outs, man on first. All right, that'll bring up Scherzer. Rounded out to the catcher the first time up. And a strikeout to end the inning. No runs, no hits, and one left on. Alright, so we head to the bottom of the fourth with the Nats up by three. Bottom of the fourth. Justin Bauer would be Bauer, Dietrich, and Hetcheverry up for the Marlins. Bauer walked his first time up. And he'll walk again. No outs, man on first. So lead off runner on for the Marlins here in the bottom of the fourth. 
Brings up Derek Dietrich. Grounded out to short his first time up. And we get a possible rare play here. Nope, no rare play. So it's going to be a dribbler to the pitcher. Check the... Let's see. Bar is only a two, so I think we're going to go... We're going to throw the runner... Throw out... Throw out batter, throw out first. We're going to throw out first. So runner's speed is only a two, so if we, if we get above a two, we'll get him. And we do. So we're able to get the lead runner there. Bauer is out. Field is choice. One out, man on first. So that'll bring up Echeverria. He singled his first time up. And Scherzer gets him. Two outs, man on first. For his sixth strike out of the day. In three and two-thirds innings. So Jeff Mathis up now. Struck out his first time up. And he'll hit it grounded to Rendon. Throw it over to Dietrich. No runs, no hits, and one left. I'm sorry, over. Robinson. <laughs> Out of the fifth. And that'll do it for the Marlins. So top of the fifth. Top of the order Van Decker. He struck out twice. And hits it to Echeverria. Possible error on the play. So 53 and below, he'll make the play. And it's a 61, and it's going to be an error. So Van Decker will reach on the error by Echeverria. No outs, man on first. So the lead off runner on for the Nats. Run going up now. He's walked both times he's been up. And he's going to get a single to center. Van Decker will... He's going to hold that second. No outs. Nobody out. First and second. The first two runners on for the Nats. Bring up Bryce Harper. He's two for two with a double and a single. It's going to be a short fly to left. Yelich will make the play. One out. Then on first and second. So one out now for Daniel Murphy. And then possible home run here. And nope, it's going to be just a single. That'll load the bases. And we're going to, we have one out. Uh, Van Decker's a four, so we're going to send the runner. And he'll be safe. So we'll score. We'll be right back after this station break. All righty, we're back here in the uh, top of the fifth inning where the Nationals have added to their lead. Now 4 nothing. One out. Men on first and third. All right. Runners at the corners with one out for Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And he hits into a double play. One run, two hits, one error, and one left on. But the Nats are able to add to the lead, and it's 4 to nothing now in the top of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth. Now we head to the bottom of the fifth. Max Scherzer back on the hill. See if they leave Kohler in. The manager calls for a pinch hitter. And that'll be it for Tom Kohler. Pitches four innings. Five innings. Gives up four runs. Leave all of them were earned. Maybe, possibly not though, as there was one error there. So. Actually, let me check here real quick. Uh, three of them were earned. So. That's up four runs, three of them earned. And Chris Johnson will come on the pinch hit. Hitting 273 with a home run and RBI. And he'll hit it to Espinoza. Throws it over to Robinson. One down. One out, base is empty. Alright, next up will be top of the order, Ichiro Suzuki. He grounded the third and struck out. And he strikes out to the second out. Two outs, base is empty. All right, that'll bring up Martin Prado, Martin Prado. One for two with a single. And he'll strike out for the third out. And just like that, the inning's over. Top of the sixth. 
So we hit to call the bullpen. So Nick Whitgreen will come on to pitch for the Miami Marlins. He's pitched one inning, ERA of 18, no record, three hits allowed. It's allowed a home run, two runs, no walks, and one strikeout. We'll face Robinson first. Robinson is hitting, I mean, is uh, 0 for 2. And he'll strike out. So, Whit Green gets his first batter he faces. One out, base is empty. Now bring up Michael Taylor, who's 0 for 2. Struck out and popped out. Ground ball to Echeverria. Throws over to Bauer, and that'll do it. Two outs, bases empty. Oh, I'm sorry, that'll be the second out. All right, so two up and two down in the fifth, in the sixth for the Nationals. Brings up Espinoza. It's 0 for 1 with a walk. It's going to be a possible base on balls. Which it will be, as Whit Green does not have very good control. Two outs, man on first. So a 2 0 base runner. Bring up Serger. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Hits it over the Prado. And possible error on Prado. 51 and, 52 and above will be an error. And Prado is able to make the play to retire in the inning. No runs, no hits, and one left on. Bottom of the sixth. So we head to the bottom of the sixth with the Nats up 4 to nothing. Yelich will lead it off. He walked and struck out. And it'll be a ground ball to Espinosa, so I'll score that a 6 3. Yelich is retired. Now, base is empty. And bring up Marcel Asuna. Struck out and grounded back to the pitcher. I mean, to first. Looping line drive to Van Decker. And it'll fall in there. One out, man on first. So Asuna has himself a one out single. Brings up Justin Bauer, who's walked both times he's been up. And he'll strike out for the second out. Two outs, man on first. And I'll bring up Derek Dietrich, who is 0 for 2, grounded out twice. Oh, looks like he's going to get a chance here. This one could go a long way. So a 45 and above, no doubter home run. 33 and above, good chance of a home run. And 21 or above, uh, also a chance of a home run. 32, we got a chance here of a home run. So one to five will be a single, otherwise it'll be a home run. And it is a home run. As Derek Dietrich takes Scherzer yard and cuts the Nationals lead in half. Two outs, base is empty. So it's a four to two game now. Retrovaria singled and struck out. And he get himself an infield single. Two outs, men on first. So action in the Washington bullpen. And Ramos is able to block that one. Retrovaria will not go anywhere. Two outs, men on first. We bring up Jeff Mathis. He's 0 for 2. And he'll strike out. That's his 10th strikeout of the game. Two runs, three hits, and one left on. So Sergers gets his 10K, but he does surrender two, two runs. Top of the seventh. And it's now a 4 to 2 ball game going into the top of the seventh. Top of the order, Van Decker will lead it off for the Nats. With Green back on the mound. And Decker's 0 for 3. Like that 0 for 4. One out, base is empty. It'll bring up Anthony Rendon. 1 for 1. With two walks. And we get a possible rear play. And it's going to be a dribble in front of the plate. And let's see if Rendon can beat this out. And he does. 
So one out single for Rendon. One out, man on first. We'll bring up Bryce Harper. It's two for three with a double RBI dub, double and a single. Come back into the pitcher. Can they turn two? Throws a second for one. Back to first. And Harper beats the relay throw, so they get their lead runner. Two outs, men on first. So that'll bring up Daniel Murphy. Home run single. He's got three RBIs on the day. And he's going to double the center, so his third hit of the day. And we'll see if Harper's going to come around the score. Looks like they're going to try to send him. And he takes the extra base, and Murphy has himself his fourth RBI of the day. See if, see if Murphy will move up. And he does not. Now has four RBIs today. So Murphy's having a big day. Two outs, man on second. They're um, making the call to the bullpen. It's a 5-2 lead as the Marlins go to the bullpen. Looks like Kyle Barclow comes in. Kind of block his three column. No, I wouldn't block his three column. You would think they would block his... I guess so. It's not really much to block here. All right. So Barclow comes on. He'll face Wilson Ramos, who's 0 for 3. And he's got himself a single. His first hit of the day. Murphy will come around the score. So he was off on the pitch. And the Nats get those two runs back, and it's 6-2 lead. Two outs, men on first. So good job by the Nationals to come back and score a couple of runs after they gave up two in the bottom of the sixth. Clint Robinson up now, 0 for 3. And we get a possible home run here. More of a chance of a single, but we'll see. And it's going to be a, definitely a single on that one. So Ramos will move up to second, go around the third. So that Nats get some, are getting some two out two rally. Two men on first and third. All right. Two out rally here. So Taylor up now. He was 0 for 3. And he'll strike out to end the inning. Two runs, four hits, and two left on. But the Nats put up two and lead it now 6 to 2. All right. He's Sergio Rowe. Uh, Get back on the mound, Carl Blacklow. So they're probably going to pinch hit for him. D. Gordon's going to pinch hit. And he'll get himself a leadoff single. No outs, men on first. Let's check some of the scores around the league. Toronto leads Baltimore in the bottom of the eighth, 4 to 1. Cleveland leads Seattle 9 to 2 in the top of the seventh. Oakland shutting out the Yankees 5 to nothing in the bottom of the eighth. The Dodgers all over the Braves, 13 to nothing in the top of the seventh. Washington six to two in the bottom at, over in this score, or in the bottom of the seventh in this game. Giants lead the D-backs, three to one in the top of the eighth. The Angels lead the White Sox five to three in the bottom of the seventh. Kansas City, uh, Detroit leads Kansas City four to three in the bottom of the seventh. Houston doubling up almost on. Texas, 13 to 7 in the top of the sixth. They have the bases loaded also, looking to score more. Cincinnati trails the Cubs by a score of 8 to 6. San Diego leads Pittsburgh by 1 in the bottom of the seventh. And well, Minnesota's down to Milwaukee by 1 in the bottom of the seventh. Back to the action here. Check here. Let's check our. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Steal. Looks like the uh, D Gordon's going to attempt to steal, and he's going to take second without a throw. No outs. Man on second. All right. Scherzer's getting tired here, so I think we're going to take him out. Maybe 
Skip coming up. Each row is a lefty, so... Oliver Perez is going to come in, at least to face each row. So Perez will come in. Like he's going to try to steal third. I don't know why down four runs, but it's going to. And the runner holds. No outs, man on second. And it's going to be a line drive single, possible error. Ball drops it, maybe mishandled. Let's see if uh, Decker is able to hold it. Very good defensive outfielder, at least error-wise. He's not committing a lot of errors. And there's no error. And let's see if... No outs, men on first and third. Gordon will hold that third. So run is at the corners with nobody out for Martin Prado. And we're going to go to the pen again. Sean Kelly is going to come in. Six column there. Lock six column. So Martin Prado come on against Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly seven and two thirds innings, three hits allowed, two runs, both of them unearned, nine strikeouts. So he's been very effective. Whip of 0 0.39. It's going to be a line drive to Espinosa. Runners have to hold, so one down. One out, men on first and third. Washington's going to play halfway for the double play. They'll concede the run if necessary. So Yelich up now. One for two with a walk. And he'll walk to load the bases. Not necessarily the worst thing. Bases loaded. Although the, although the tying run is coming up now. Hopefully Kelly's as good at possible wild pitch and he is nowhere near as good as Scherzer so there's a good chance this is going to be a wild pitch and it's not he gets a one so Ramos does a great job to block that one as that one was surely going to go to the scorer run one out base is loaded so soon up now one for three with a single And he'll strike out for the second out. So a big out for Kelly. Two outs, bases loaded. Do you need to get one more, though? It's Justin Bauer. De definitely capable of tying it up with one swing. He's 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. Ball hits Espinosa. And his error check on the play. Oh, and Espinosa is going to commit the error. One run will come in as he boots it. Two outs, bases loaded. So it's a 6-3 game now for Dietrich. He homered, hit a two-run home run his last time up. One for three on the day. He's a lefty, so I think we're going to switch Kelly out. Bring it into the lefty. Vero is coming in. see here. One, look at all those ones, ones, and three. Let's check where Vera is. Uh, is there a difference between lefties and righties here? Not really, so I think we're going to leave in Kelly. Ball hits the Murphy. It's always an adventure, but he's able to make the out to retire the side. Two hits, one error. And three left on. So minimal damage as the Miami is only able to push across one run. And it's six to three as we head to the top of the eighth. Top of the eighth. They're bringing in a new pitcher. Craig Breslow, the former Red Sox, will come in. He's pitched five and two-thirds innings, allowed eight hits, three runs, one walk, and five strikeouts. ERA of 4.76 and a whip of 1.59. So Espinosa will follow out to 
Prado, the first out. One out, base is empty. Next up will be the pitcher, Sean Kelly, which will definitely be pinch hitting for him. We'll bring in Steven Drew to pinch hit. Uh, probably didn't want to do that lefty on lefty, but that's all right. And Drew strikes out for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. Two outs and base empty for top of the order, Van Decker. I think we're going to pinch hit for Van Decker, though. We're going to bring Jason Worth, who is... So Worth comes in. He's hitting 313 with three homers and 14 runs batted in. And he'll follow to the Rojas. And that'll and do just it. Just like that, the inning's over. Bottom of the eighth. All right, so we're going to have Jason Worth come in and play left field. He's average defensively. And let's see. We're going to bring in uh, We're going to bring in Pettit. Teet. Teet will come in. He'll face Echeverria. He's pitched five innings, no record, 3.60 ERA, 1.20 whip. Brown ball to third. Rendell makes the play. One out, base is empty. Right, that'll bring up Mathis. He is 0 for 3 on the day. The manager calls for a pinch hitter. And they're going to pinch hit. And, oh, the dangerous Giancarlo Stanton comes on. Hitting 208 with two homers and eight runs batted in, but always a power threat. And he's going to get a single. So he comes off the bench and gets a single. One out, man on first. Going to bring up Rojas. Making his first at bat of the day. You feel it's playing halfway. Oh, a hit and run. And it's going to be a double. Goes all the way to the wall. One out, men on second and third. Down by three, Stanton will hold at third. So runners on second and third for each row. Pops out to second. So two down now. Two outs, men on second and third. That'll bring up Martin Prado. One for three. She one for four. Oh, and he's gonna triple into the corner. No, well, into the center actually. Goes all the way around, rattles around. Taylor has trouble with it. But it's going to be a triple, a two-run, RB, a two-RBI triple for Martin Prado. And it's a 6-5 game now. Two outs, men on third. All right, so Papelbon is going to be brought in. He's been warming up in the bullpen. So he comes into the game. Two saves, three and a third innings pitch, six hits allowed. ERA of 10.80, so he's not been very effective. Has a lot of home run. Four runs, a walk, and a strikeout. Whip of 2.10. Needs a big out here. But the tying run is just 90 feet away. Christian Yelich comes up. He is 1 to 0 for 2 on the day with a couple of walks. And Epelon gets him swinging to end the inning. Two runs, three hits, and one left on. So we head to the ninth. Washington clinging to a one run lead. Top of the ninth. El Mudo is going to come in and catch for the Marlins. He is a above average catcher defensively. Anthony Rendon, two for two with a couple of walks. Breslau is still out there. Hits it to Echeverria. And it's going to be a close play at first. And he'll beat it out. So Rendon hustles down the line and beats it out for. No outs, men on first. So leadoff base, base runner is on. Playing in. Prado's playing in for Bryce Harper, who's two for four with an RBI. Come back into the pitcher. Back to second for one on the first. And it's going to be a double play. 
That's their second double play turn today. So a big double play for the Marlins. Two outs, base is empty. Two outs and nobody on for Daniel Murphy. He homered, singled, and doubled. It's got four runs batted in on the day, so he's having a three for four day. And this time he flies out the center to end the inning. No runs, one hit, and none left on. Bottom of the ninth. All right, so Papelbon's back out there in the ninth to try to close it out for the Nats. He'll face Osuna, Bauer, and, Br and the pitcher spot. And it's going to be a leaping catch by the shortstop Espinosa for the first out. One out, base is empty. All right. Justin Bauer up now. 0 for 2. Reached on an error and walked a couple times. And a strikeout. So, first two run batters are out. And the Marlins are down to their last out. Two outs, base is empty. And they'll be in the pitcher spot. Let's see what they get to pinch hit for Breslow. Oh, they, surprising they're going to let Breslow hit. Wow. Questionable there. Washington. Very questionable the there. Don't Until know what, next time, this is Replay Radio signing off. Don't know what they were thinking there. But anyway, perhaps they were out of bench players. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't seem like they were. But the Nats hold on and win it 6-5. to five. And now they take over first place. They're, so they're first place ahead of the Marlins by a half game. Sergio gets the win, 3-1. and one. Cohort gets the loss, 2-1. Papelbon earns his third save, and Daniel Murphy, with four RBIs and a home run, gets the uh, MVP of the game. Check the box score quickly. Matt Scherzer, six innings, six hits, three runs, two of them earned, three walks, ten strikeouts. Kohler, three, two and one. That's his first loss of the season, five innings. Pitched, five hits, four runs, three of them earned, three walks, five strikeouts. Papelbon gets the save, his third of the season. One in the third innings pitched. It's Danny Murphy, three for five, with two runs scored and four RBIs. Harper was two for five, starting to bust out of his funk. Rendon was three for three. Prado, two for five, with a couple RBIs. Dietrich, one for four with a homer and two runs batted in. Murphy hit his second home run for the Nats. And Prado Dietrich hit his first home run for the Marlins. So there are your final scores here. Most of these are final. You check them out. Dodgers all over the Braves, 14 0. Houston. About to close it out against Texas, 17-7. Baltimore, Toronto beats Baltimore 4-3. See if there are any division games here. Uh, Atlanta lost, so that's good. Uh, that's going to be it in our division, I think. It doesn't look like the Mets played today. Let's check out the uh, standings quickly. So the Nats take over first place. They're now 8-7. and seven. Win 3 out of 4 from the Marlins. Check out the schedule for tomorrow. The Nats will begin a, a three-game series here. Uh, yep, with the Minnesota Twins. So that would be it in this replay. The Red Sox will start a three-game series against the Houston Astros in that replay. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming with my co-host, Miss Mags, taking the place of Miss Brody, who, Mr. Brody, who has had the afternoon off. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye.